Hello everybody, it is your director, Angela Tallarico Dalton, and I'm literally so excited to be back filming and editing. I have not had the energy and I have not felt good at all with this pregnancy. And my sickness just kind of went away about a couple weeks ago, but um, it's rough. So <laughs> I don't want to go into depth for that, but it's, it's a very, it's a lot harder than I thought um, pregnancy was going to be. So I'm about halfway there. We are so excited. It is a little girl. If you haven't seen my, um, my reveal video that I already posted on my YouTube channel, but I have been wanting to sit down and actually film and edit for a very, very, very long time. I just haven't had the energy to. I could never find the right time to, but I'm back. <laughs> so today, um, I just kind of wanted to do my best fall fragrances update video. I started these videos last fall, I want to say, where I, I did um, every season, like best fall, best winter, best spring, best summer. So I believe I've been doing these for officially a year now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Honestly, I probably should have checked that before I got on the video, but you know, yeah. <laughs> so this is a new setup that is not completed yet. This is actually my new office. We turned our den into my new office. It's not finished yet. So whenever it is finished, I will be doing an update like an office tour for you. So I'm really, really excited. We're gonna be painting the walls. I have memory shelves going up right there behind me. And I'm gonna have to figure out what setup I like for my videos, like with my backdrop and everything. So I am very, very, very excited. <laughs> So today is my best fall fragrances. These are all, in my opinion, the fall fragrances that you need. Like if you are going on my website and you are overwhelmed by how many Scentsy bars that we have, um, and everything might sound the same and you don't know if you're gonna like it and you don't know if you're gonna like this. This, in my opinion, is a good group of fall fragrances to choose from. I do have pumpkin, I have apple, I have None of the above. Um, I just kind of picked my favorite fall fragrances that I think that everybody can, I feel like everybody can find at least a few of these out of this bunch. So these are not in any specific order. Um, I'm just gonna go through them and I'm gonna read this in the description as always and I hope you enjoy. So let's start with the pumpkin. Because I know a lot of people either hate or love pumpkin. I personally, I love pumpkin. I absolutely adore pumpkin fragrances, especially for this coming year. Honestly, I could probably warm it all the way, like all year round. Uh, but let me get to my catalog. I got the new catalog right here so I can read you the same descriptions. Um, I want to start with my absolute number one pumpkin fragrance ever. This was actually a scent of the month for it last year and I just was crossing my fingers hoping that it would come back permanently in this fall winter catalog and it did. This is Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl and it is my absolute number one pumpkin fragrance ever. Um, pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, it's like, it's the best of all but it's like best, it's just the best. Um, it's pumpkin, it's cinnamon, it has, you know, the bakery scent, and all of y'all know that I love my bakery fragrances. Um, the scent description says, where'd you go? Oh, it says fresh pumpkin garnished with cinnamon stick with a dollop of whipped icing. This is the most perfect pumpkin cinnamon bakery fragrance that you'll ever smell. It seriously has one of the best performances ever. Like it will last you for days. Like this is one of those scents that whenever you walk in the door, um, it's gonna hit you in the face. It's, it's, it's not subtle. <laughs> so if you don't like strong fragrances, you probably aren't gonna be a big fan of pumpkin cinnamon swirl. But in my opinion, I absolutely love this. I feel like this is gonna be a scent that could really come back every fall and winter for years to come. Um, if it doesn't come back, I will be very, very sad. I would actually love to see this one in a car bar because I think it would be an amazing car fragrance. And then next after that, we have Farm Stand Pumpkin. This is still in the pumpkin area. Um, this has been around for some years. I don't know exactly how long it has been around for, but this is not a bakery pumpkin. Fragrance. So, Farmstand Pumpkin, it says indulgent notes of fresh apple, cinnamon stick, pumpkin, and caramel. 
So you would think it kind of has that really bakery um, hint because I, I mean I would because of the caramel. But in my opinion, like whenever I think this, I think of this as more of a fruity pumpkin. <laughs> I don't really know if I would classify a pumpkin as fruity, but like it's just not like it's that great, you know, pumpkin apple cinnamon without the bakery. The caramel really does add like a sweet tooth to this scent, but it's just not, it's not something like pumpkin cinnamon swirl like I just talked about. So I love farm sand pumpkin. I'm so excited that this is a car bar now. I have not actually used it yet because I am working through all of the new releases. So I just haven't actually got to this one yet, but I'm so happy <laughs> it's available as a car bar. Um, I think that if you love pumpkin, I think that you would absolutely love this one too. So all of my pumpkins, I have four pumpkins in, so I think that if you love pumpkin, you're gonna love absolutely, you're just, you're just gonna fall in love with all four of these. Um, the next one is also a more pumpkin, less bakery. This is Porch Pumpkin. This is actually a brand new release. So this one has not been around in any catalog before. It was not a scent of the month. It was just brand, brand new. It's in the new releases in the catalog. It says, take to the top step with fresh picked pumpkin, acorn, and autumn air. So this one is, it has, you know, it has those more woodsy, not woodsy, but you know, like breezy, folly kind of hints to it. It's not just all pumpkin and apple and cinnamon and spice and everything nice. You know, like it's not that kind of pumpkin. It has, this one is the good, this is a good mix. Like it's different. Like we have a bunch of pumpkin fragrances, but every single pumpkin fragrance is it's different. Everyone is unique. And that's why I say like, if you like pumpkin, you're going to love all four of these. So this is a brand new porch pumpkin. This is a brand new fragrance. This is a brand new release and this is porch pumpkin. And this is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best fall fragrances that you can get right now. The next one is pumpkin roll. So this is a huge classic. This one has been around, or has come around every fall and winter for a very, very long time. Um, pumpkin roll is something that if you've known Cincy for a while, you know of pumpkin roll, just kind of like Silver Bells and Luna and stuff like that. Um, pumpkin roll is also a bakery fragrance, just like pumpkin cinnamon swirl, but this one just doesn't, it's so, I'm actually warming it right now and it smells amazing in here. Pumpkin roll says creamy pumpkin pie filling surrounded with yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. So there's no cinnamon in this. Um, that's one difference. Um, I don't know, like pumpkin cinnamon squirrel. It reminds me more of like a Danish or like a pumpkin cinnamon roll. Does that make sense? And then pumpkin roll reminds me more of like cupcakes and cake, <laughs> like actual cake and pumpkin pie. That's what this reminds me of. So both of these are different. And if you don't like cinnamon, then go with pumpkin roll and don't go with pumpkin cinnamon swirl because pumpkin cinnamon swirl has tons and tons of cinnamon in it. So I, I love this. Um, obviously it reminds me of the actual kind of pumpkin roll that you can get <laughs> at your grocery store or you know make it right now with the cream cheese feeling on the inside. So this is pumpkin roll. And that is my, that's my four pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin fragrances. The next one on my list is Cider Mill. I'm pretty positive this was in my video last year too. This actually does have pumpkin notes in it, but it is not like a pumpkin, pumpkin fragrance. This is like one of the best fall mixes of all time. I absolutely love Cider Mill. It's available in a car bar now. I'm so excited and I love it. So Cider Mill, it says, brings together fresh apples, crushed pumpkin, and simmering spices for a cozy, cozy autumn treat. Like, I know, the scent descriptions all kind of have the same, they have the same scent description, like the same, like scent notes in there, but they're just all so different. Like this reminds me of an actual cider. Like we also have honey pear cider. It's, it's not in this video, but I love honey pear cider. This actually reminds me more of a cider. And it does have that apple and pumpkin and spices in it. <laughs> I feel like all of these, you just have to smell it. Like you just actually have to smell this one. Um, I love cider meal. Maybe if you do like the pumpkin kind of scents, but you don't want something that's strictly pumpkin, cider meal would definitely be your go-to in my opinion. We have a classic, not a classic, but this one comes around, it's been coming around for a very long time. Um, this is apple and cinnamon sticks. This is a core bar now too. I'm so excited. I'm so happy about the new core bar lineup for this fall winter catalog. 
Um, apples, apple and cinnamon sticks, it says apple peel, spa swap pumpkin, and a touch of oak. So this is more, it's definitely more authentic cinnamon, not like a bakery cinnamon in my opinion. This is more of a fall-ish warm kind of cinnamon. I think it's a perfect amount like mixed with apple too, but I think I'm mainly, my nose mainly gets cinnamon out of this. Um, definitely not as much cinnamon as cinnamon bear because cinnamon bear is way too much cinnamon. I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon bear, but this is apple and cinnamon sticks and this is definitely a fragrance that you would love for fall and winter if you don't want pumpkin. <laughs> I know I'm talking a lot about pumpkin, but I feel like pumpkin is like the main Pumpkin and apple, those are like the main two categories for fall fragrances. So I'm just saying. Next on the list is Autumn Hearth. I, I, I'm pretty positive that's how you pronounce, pronounce this. Um, this is actually one that's kind of similar to apple and cinnamon sticks, but then again, they're both completely different too. Autumn Hearth is a new release. It says Cuba Classic. Apple, cinnamon, and tonka are all about fall. So this is just one of those classic fall fragrances that I think that um, you think of whenever you want, you know, fall scents, you know, whenever you are buying new Scentsy Wax or you're thinking about like what to use in your house for your fall fragrances or maybe like in your car, like anywhere you're going. So this is a great one. I, I really do love it. I think it's a very, very good classic and I see this one coming around for years to come. Another new release is actually the fragrance that I warmed at my open house in August. This is Apple Cherry Strudel. This is all about bakery, so of course I knew I was gonna love this one. This one has not been around, it is a new release, and it says Apple Cherry Strudel. Granny Smith, cherry, and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. This smells like you literally just walked into a bakery. This smells just like a apple cherry danish, like a cream cheese apple cherry danish. I love it. And I love those danishes too, so I think that's one reason why I really, really love this fragrance. So, and I have warmed it, the performance is awesome in it. I really hope this one comes back um, in future years too, because I absolutely love cherry, apple cherry strudel. And if you like bakery fragrances, you are going to adore this, and you are going to hope that it comes back too. <laughs> A, another new release is Grandma's Orchard. Grandma's Orchard says, discover total tranquility in fresh apple wood and Andrew pear. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that one. Um, this is apple, oh, so fruity. Like it's not like fruity fruity, it's like, if you remember Chris Orchard Air that retired, it was, I think it was in the catalog last year. Um, it did not come back. It reminds me a lot of this. Like it reminds me of that outdoorsy kind of apple and pear kind of fruity fragrance mixed together. So I think that if you like those kind of scents like woody and um, fruity, I think you're gonna love this one. So this is Grandma's Orchard. And I will of course have all of the names that I'm talking about in this video. I will have everything listed below too in the scent description, in the YouTube description. <laughs> Next on the list is something that actually really grew on me. I was not a huge fan of this one at first. This one came out as a new release last fall and winter. And this is Painted Leaves. So I don't know why it didn't grow on me at first. Like I don't know why I didn't fall in love with it instantly. But as I finally just kept smelling this and it came back and I've warmed it. Like I think this is a classic scent that you need in your Scentsy bars for this time of year. Um, painted leaves, it says, wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. This is a woodsy fall fragrance. Like this is walking down the street whenever all of the um, leaves have, are, you know, everything's gold and brown and all the leaves are falling and you know, you're getting that whiff of that really, really cool air. I absolutely love painted leaves. This is definitely not a food fragrance. This is definitely not a fruity fragrance. This is definitely not a bakery. This is that outdoorsy fall fragrance that I think that you'll just love. If you like stuff like this, you are going to adore Painted Leaves. And I'm very happy it came back to this catalog and I'm very happy that I finally gave it a chance because like I said at first, I wasn't a huge fan of it. And then I actually tried it and I warmed it and this is this is very nice. I, I, I very much love Painted Leaves and it has a really, really great performance on it too. Um, next on the list is another one that has come <laughs> back. Um, from previous years, this is Autumn Sunset. 
Um, Autumn Sunset says, apples, pumpkins, fall leaves, and spices, a top 10 fragrance. And I totally agree with a top 10 fragrance part. I just dropped the lid. This is another perfect fall mix. <laughs> I know, I just, I feel like I can't explain exactly why I think every scent is so unique, but I promise you, like, if you just, just pick what you think, like, whatever, I'm going through these, and if one of these, like, sparks your mind, just pick, the, pick it and put it on your list. I think that, I mean, these are all great. Like, I would not be recommending anything that, um, it's not great, because this is my best fall, fall favorites video, so this is the fall favorites. <laughs> and last but not least, we have another returning fragrance. This is Cedar Cider. This is also one that had to grow on me. Um, I did not try this until last year. I think this was out whenever I had first joined Cincy, but I was only with Cincy for a week, like the last week of the fall and winter catalog at the time. So like, I really didn't get to try that many fall and winter fragrances and whenever I first joined, I was really picky about scents. I was like, oh, I just like black raspberry vanilla and blueberry cheesecake and that's pretty much it. And now I like almost everything. There's probably, there might be one or two scents that like I do not enjoy in the catalog. Like I have a really, really open-minded nose. Does that make sense? Um, this is Cedar Cider. It says an autumn medley of the reddest apple, cinnamon sticks, and vanilla beans nestled among fragrant white cedar branches. And this I love because this is fruity, but outdoorsy and woody at the same time. Like this is just a mix of all of this and that's why I wanted to put this last. So if you like outdoorsy scents, you're gonna love this. If you like the wood, you know, like woodsy scents like um, Honeymoon Hideaway, you're gonna love this. If you like everything about apple and uh, pumpkin and cinnamon, um, bakery, the vanilla bean, um, you're going to love cedar cider. This is a perfect mix of literally everything. I do not know why it took me so long to try this, but I, I love this. I, I very much love cedar cider. But yeah, guys, that was my best fall fragrances. I love making these videos because I like to try to make it at least a little bit easier um, if I can possibly for you whenever you were going through the website and you're trying to decide like what six pack to build um, for your waxes. So I just wanted to kind of, I just wanted to start categorizing what I think that you need. Like instead of having like 80 plus Cincy bars to choose from, this was only 12. Um, and I try to add categories from bakery to apple and cinnamon and woodsy and outdoorsy and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to only talk about permanent fragrances. If you noticed, there was no sense of the month. There was no limited edition fragrances in here. There was nothing that's in the clearance right now. Um, I wanted to talk about what's permanent in our current fall and winter catalog. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, thank you for being so patient and waiting on me to actually get a video like this up. Uh, life has just been really crazy lately <laughs> and we are so excited to meet our baby girl in February. So um, be expecting my best winter fragrances video coming up soon whenever it does actually get cold outside because in Tennessee it's like 85 degrees outside but yeah that's it I will stop rambling now um as always guys don't watch me join me and have a great day